Okay, welcome back to turn five of Semper Gumby. So uh, yeah, had our first little bit of contact in the last uh, in the last turn. You know, a little bit of a firefight developing on this corner, uh, and it's going to be interesting to see how Hollow re reacts to this. I think he's got a Marder down here, and I want him to bring it out to shoot that building up so that this small team can kill it. Or, or in fact the guys in the building can kill it because they've still got loads of firepower. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens there. He's also obviously going to move things over, uh, move some troops through here because he's blasted this and popped smoke, so he's going to move troops there. Uh, so we've got that to look for. Uh, we're going to see what else the drone picks up and this sniper team has drawn a bead on this poor unfortunate German. He could be a squad leader actually because he's got that little radio on his back. Um, but if he misses it should hit somebody uh, but the, the actual sniper team can only see these. Uh, that guy. Uh, it's not too far, it's an elite sniper team because they are cheap and effective. Uh, so hopefully that is, he's going to have a bad day. It's a Ralphus round so his if he gets hit his his buddies are probably going to get showered with bone fragments and stuff. That's going to be messy but uh, that's kind of what we want. Uh, we also heard a plane flying around at the start, of, uh, just towards the end I think of the last turn so mm, something might explode. Hopefully that Humvee because, as I said, it's the decoy. I want to think it's, it's in a kind of tank-like location. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. I right, said so we're only four minutes in. This is the fifth turn. Uh, I'm a little reluctant to start bombing everything right yet. I want to get them in nice and close first, so uh, let's see. Yeah, that's that team there. That's probably the sniper team that was popping away. And, oh yes. That building is getting shot up. That is probably a martyr. I mean, just the, the volume of explosions, the rate of fire and stuff. Yeah, well we got an eyeball on it, so let, let's see. It's just otherwise blowing everything up over there, which is fine. Ah, that's that funny sound clip again. Are we gonna blow up the empty Humvee? Got five seconds, game, come on. Ooh. Load for another day. And you see we're developing a big, you know, a serious picture here of Oh, it's a weasel! I love the weasels. They they are the cutest little things ever. Um Can I really just say that out loud on mic? Ugh. Uh they are cool though, I I do like them. It's just the little three man little it's like oh they they're just fun. Uh, and then here we got Three more leopards, so uh, it's got a leopard platoon. And that's another weasel. You see that you got the dual feed for the different like AP and HE ammo. Uh, so that that would explain what we've uh, what happened down here. And oh yeah, that got messy. But yeah, mm, yeah, weasel. Small, hard to spot. Let's see what happened with the sniper team first. Let's start on the left and then go right. So. Ah, oh, do you lose the spot? Oh no, let's go back again. Oh, <laughs> so the first guy to get a shot off isn't the actual marksman. It's the guy with the grenade launcher. To be fair, the grenade launcher is probably a bit more effective. He is spectacularly not hitting those guys. <laughs> Yes, thank you for that random AI comment. Uh, but luckily, there's some more coming up. 
Oh, we got the guy with the Panzer Faust. It's not I, you know. I scared the bejesus out of those guys. So we have at least done a bit of damage there. That'll do. Uh, and then we'll, we'll bug these guys out in the next turn. Uh, just stash them in a, another building somewhere else, maybe. Uh, so yeah, what happened on the corner? So we're getting the sniping. That will be from this guy here, who has... Ah, also has a Barrett. I mean, the Germans call it something different, but it's a Barrett. Uh, and then any second that that Wiesel is going to come around the corner and start shooting at um, everything. I think that that's going to be it. Maybe not. I mean, just because I think it's a... Did we not see one? I thought we saw one. I... I, I want to say that it's a... Unless it's like a grenade launcher or something? I'm not sure that's actually that really super high rate of fire cannon that the Germans have. I think that's just... That might just be a load of grenades. Yeah, maybe it's... Um, maybe he's got a Fennec? Can you get... Fe so a Fennec is like a little light armoured scout car. Uh, uh, which is an Armour 3, if you've played Armour 3. Uh, so I wonder, actually, if... Um, uh, he's got one of those with an automatic grenade launcher on top. Or if he somehow had the time to, to get a uh, like a grenade launcher team up high somewhere. Interesting. Uh, and then, you know, under cover of that suppression, um, see, these guys are now pinned. And they fire a Panzerfaust at him. Uh, these guys do take a casualty at some... There we go. Ah, so we do have four guys up there. I, I don't know whether that's the team from the start? No, it's not. So that's the scout team. Uh, the rest of the team is downstairs, and then they come upstairs and engage... Uh, my guys. That's what I think's going on there. So yeah, we uh, they say we came off worse than that one, yeah. What we are one, two, three, four casualties and two injured versus one confirmed, which was the guy in the corner. Um, yeah, there's the Beazel breaking a hole in the. So, curious as to exactly what that little thing is doing. Uh, whether it, it came round the corner and then, you know, maybe it did go round the corner and engage and then has fallen back. Because it got panicked or something? I don't know. Interesting. Oh, these two guys. Oh look, they both have radios, that means they're both important, and they've both got binoculars. That is probably an FO team. I really want to kill them. I think he's probably going to be... Um... Yeah, where are those guys looking? Uh, just at this big building here, so maybe he's going to arty that at some point. Let's uh, be interesting to see. So yeah, the 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 weasel. I actually yeah, 
I, I think that's actually a really good choice uh, for city for uh, city fighting because it's it's a big heavy weapon. You know, th those twenty mil cannons are pretty cool, uh, very effective. Uh, and you know, there it is. Uh, on, on tracks, uh, and it's small and it's light, and you can most of all it's cheap, so you can bring loads of them. Uh, and you, you can just kind of follow it up with the infantry as a, a little. It's it, yeah, you know, it's a heavy weapon on tracks. It's not like a tank, which is like its own big weapon system. Uh, so yeah, I I like that. That's that's really good. This is going to be an interesting game. Uh, so let's roll through again. See if I miss anything. So we're well, starting to get a, a good picture of his force. I think he might actually have a Gebergsjäger battalion. Uh, I'm not sure if we can afford all of it. Uh, but if he has that, because the heavy weapons company has the Weasels in. Uh, if, if he's got that, he's got a, quite a lot of manpower. Uh, then back it up with, uh, we've got the air power, and we have definitely probably Stinger team in the corner again, and... Uh, some artillery and uh, a tank platoon in. Yeah, I think that could fill up. He's got about 9,000 points to spend, which is quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, I think, you know, five minutes in, we're nailing down his force composition and his plan, because if he's got the weasels, then he can get into little nooks and crannies and stuff. Uh, that I can't necessarily, in a way, I can't necessarily respond to. So let, let's do a little trial run here. Uh, three minutes. So let's dump a... But a heavy, quick personnel mission on that that gap there Bring us some should take about three minutes. I'm gonna always dump it somewhere else if I need to, just as a test, just as a teaser. Uh, I want to see how it works. I should probably do this, you know, not actually in the game, but you know, let's let Halloween know what it's in for. Uh, I I want it to do a personnel mission because I want to see if it that's gonna destroy the um, the walls because I kind of want to keep the walls intact. Uh, but while he's kind of pinned here, you know, let's retreat these guys back inside the building a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just do... Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's save it. Stop it, you check moron. Fire, fire, Be patient, fire. for God's sake. Yeah, let's... Uh, see how we go. I say the weasels change things quite a lot. Uh, so he's probably going to be able to figure out where these guys are, so let's move them out. Uh, can we stick them in on the keyhole somewhere? Let's try there. I can I see that gap? Or even actually just into the next building over. Uh, that that way they can see over that way in case he tries the wide flank. I don't think he will, but uh, we will see. Uh, but yeah, something's probably going to blow up on the next turn. You see how that's not really spotting any infantry, it's just spotting vehicles. Uh, yep, yeah, something's going to explode on the next turn, hopefully the Humvee, uh, and we'll see what how this develops. He's probably going to try and flank round on that building. We will see. Let's get that away. 